It was the cruise of a lifetime, a second honeymoon, a voyage of romance. I hate to break up a twosome, but would you mind if I joined you? Amuse me. Well, you're French, aren't you? You've got the hot spur, haven't you? Most men. Your husband, right? Isn't he dangerous? The movie begins, and we see a couple, Nigel and Fiona, who are traveling on a cruise ship. They had been married for a long time, but their relationship was not going well. To improve this relationship, they came to India on both vacations. When Fiona goes to the bathroom, then he meets a French girl, the one who is crying a lot as well as she was looking sick. Now here Nigel and Fiona help the girl. After dinner in the evening, Fiona goes to sleep, but Nigel couldn't sleep. That's why he shows up at the cruise bar, where he sees a girl who is dancing. After a while, that girl came and sat near Nigel. It was the same girl, whose Nigel and Fiona helped. Her name was Mimi. Here Mimi starts talking to Nigel, and also tries to seduce him. But when there is no response from Nigel, she leaves from there. At night when Nigel was watching the moon, then a man came to him, who was in a wheelchair. Oscar tells Nigel he was a failed writer Oscar. He says that Mimi is very dangerous, and he tells Nigel to stay away from her. He said this because he wanted good for Nigel. Nigel couldn't understand what he wanted to say. Then Oscar calls that he is Mimi's husband. He brings Nigel to his room to tell him about himself. To say that Oscar and Mimi were husband and wife, but both lived in different rooms. Now, here Oscar starts talking about himself. He says that he lived in Paris, when one day, he was traveling in a bus. So the first time he sees Mimi, he was traveling in the same bus. Oscar likes Mimi so much, who was working as a waiter in that hotel. He leaves the girl and starts talking to Mimi, with great difficulty. He met Mimi and he didn't want to miss this opportunity. Mimi also recognizes Oscar. Oscar requests Mimi to come on a date. Mimi agrees to this, too, and the two go on a date. Both of them talk a lot. Mimi has to become a dancer, but there is a shortage of money. That's why she is working as a waiter. They both get so lost in each other, they don't even know when the night passes. Oscar says, I search for you everywhere. Did you think that you will be able to meet me again? Then Mimi takes out that ticket from her purse, which Oscar had given her. Then Oscar realizes that Mimi also started liking him. Both of them then go to Oscar's apartment and both become intimate. Oscar says he is very lucky. He says that he found such a beautiful girl. After that, both of them stayed in that house for three days. Now their relationship started, but both were so thirsty for each other that his heart was not filling. As time passed, their desire kept on increasing. Oscar starts telling all these things in such detail that Nigel starts feeling uncomfortable and leaves from there. Now the next morning, Nigel tells all this to Fiona. When Nigel and Fiona were having dinner, Oscar and Mimi arrived. After a while, Mimi leaves from there. Oscar tells Fiona that he wants to talk to her husband about something. Can you leave him with me for one hour? So Fiona agrees. Oscar takes Nigel to his room and starts telling a story. He says that we were both madly in love with each other ever since we met. Our whole life has changed. He had thought that they would always be together, no matter what happened. Mimi also liked him very much. In this way, both of them were very happy in their life. One day, they went to the bar where Mimi's friend was also Oscar started talking to her, but Mimi thought he was flirting with her. Oscar saw that he felt very sad, so he went home. When Mimi came home, Oscar was angry and criticized her. Mimi blames Oscar for starting this first, but Mimi still apologized, and they later reconciled. While Oscar was telling the story, Mimi came over so Nigel had to leave. On the other hand, Fiona is also starting to doubt Nigel and Mimi when Nigel is alone. Then Mimi also meets Nigel and tells him not to believe anything Oscar says. After that, Mimi asks Nigel to meet someday because she had something to tell him. Nigel also starts getting attracted to Mimi, so he goes to meet her. But the person Nigel meets is not Mimi but Oscar. Nigel gets angry seeing this. Oscar says that's what Mimi wants. Afterward, he told Nigel all the things that made him understand Mimi better. Oscar sadly says that because he is paralyzed, he cannot meet Mimi's physical needs. Oscar has a great fear that one day Mimi will leave him. That's why Oscar wants to find another man for Mimi. One day, he went to meet a publisher with Mimi. Because Mimi clumsily shook the dining table, the wine bottle spilled on the publisher, making her angry. Because of this, his meeting ends there. When he got home, 
Oscar angrily criticized Mimi. He said that he had never had a book published before. This was his rare opportunity, but she ruined it. Mimi is also hurt by the words of Oscar, and she starts packing her things and leaving. Mimi thought Oscar would hold her back, but it seemed Oscar wanted her to disappear from his life. But then Mimi came back, cried and apologized to Oscar. She says she loves him very much and doesn't let her leave like that. Oscar forgives her and they continue their relationship. And now he was feeling suffocated in this relationship. He felt that everyone else was having fun except him. While he is missing all this, slowly now their relationship was fading. Mimi loved Oscar very much. She didn't want to leave him, but Oscar wanted to get rid of Mimi. One day there is an argument between the two and Oscar beats Mimi, causing her to faint. But when Mimi woke up, she still smiled as if nothing had happened and forgave him. Mimi also said that she loves Oscar, no matter what. Then even Mimi was not at fault. She used to say sorry to Oscar. She did not want Oscar to leave her. That night, Oscar told Mimi that their relationship had deteriorated and that sooner or later it would have to end. Both of them are not compatible so it's best for them to break up before things get worse. Anyway, they both had a good time together. At this moment, Mimi understood what Oscar wanted to say. He no longer loves her. That's why she leaves there and cries so much. Oscar was now free after Mimi's departure. So, he was doing whatever he came in. He goes to parties, has fun with friends, and flirts with girls. When he came home one night, he saw that Mimi was waiting for him. She cried and told Oscar that she couldn't live without him. She even pleads in front of Oscar begging him not to leave her. She also told him that if he wanted to beat her or sleep with another woman, it was okay. As long as he didn't leave her, he could do whatever he wanted. She does not have any problem. Oscar then realizes that Mimi will never leave him, so he begins to torture her. While Oscar is getting intimate with another girl in the bedroom, Mimi has to do all the housework. She starts living like a maid in a house. She cleans her room and cooks his favorite dish but Oscar never paces properly with Mimi and keeps on insulting her. He takes her to the party and goes there and insults her in front of other girls. Mimi feels very miserable about these things, but she is not ready to leave Oscar. One day, Oscar gets scared when Mimi tells him that she is pregnant. He feared that the child would prevent him from becoming a famous writer. After Mimi had an abortion, Oscar came to see her as if nothing had happened. Mimi regrets missing her baby, but Oscar doesn't care. After that, Oscar tells Mimi that it doesn't matter. Then, they took a trip to Miami. On the plane, Oscar said he would keep their luggage. He then pretended to have a stomach ache and told the pilot he couldn't continue the flight. So the pilots drop him at the airport, and the flight takes off. He was watching the plane leaving the airport. At this time, Mimi understood that Oscar wanted to leave her. Mimi went to Miami alone, and this hurt her a lot. Hearing all this, Nigel is shocked. Nigel says if everything Mimi said is true then he feels she is pitiful. Nigel then lied that he needed to go to the bathroom and left. But as soon as he walked out, he saw Mimi standing outside the door. Mimi wants Nigel to hear her whole story. Suddenly Mimi kissed Nigel, surprising him. Nigel then goes to Oscar and Oscar starts his incomplete story. He says that he was completely free because of not being with Mimi. He used to go to parties and have fun, and every night was intimate with the new girl. One day when he was returning home from a party, he got into an accident, and his leg gets fractured. When he is in the hospital, Mimi comes to meet him and Oscar is surprised to see her. Because even after doing all this, how can she come back? Oscar asks her what is she doing. Then Mimi says that she has started working as a waiter in a hotel. The manager there was very good as much as he hurt her. That much he loved her. After this, Mimi starts leaving from there. But the very next moment, she changes her mind. She returned to the hospital room and pushed Oscar down on the bed. Because of this, he gets paralyzed. But what's worse is that Mimi then seems to be taking care of him. But instead of taking care of him, she tortured Oscar. She gives him the same food every day, giving him insulation at the same place every day and doing whatever comes to mind, which like Oscar did to her. Mimi was now taking a revenge. She left no stone unturned to torture him. One day, on Oscar's birthday, Mimi gives him a pistol so that Oscar can commit suicide if he wants. She brings a man home to make Oscar feel jealous. Then she gets intimate with him. Then Mimi held a wedding ceremony with Oscar. 
Oscar tells Nigel that he always has a fear that Mimi will find some good man and leave him because if she leaves then Oscar has no one in this world. So, that's what Oscar wants. So that Mimi does not fall in love with anyone. Now Nigel had heard the whole story of Oscar. At night there is a party on the ship, in which Nigel meets Mimi and starts dancing with her. Nigel tries to kiss Mimi, but Mimi tells him to stop, that his wife is watching us. After this, Fiona and Mimi also start dancing and go to both rooms, where both are intimate. Nigel gets very angry seeing this, and he starts throttling Oscar. Then Oscar takes out his gun and sleeps on Mimi's suit, then commits suicide himself. And that ends the story forever. Nigel and Fiona realize that what was going wrong between them has now been fixed, and the movie ends here. Thank you for watching.